open the gates. All right, don't come on, don't worry. This one you came to our house today. I hope there is no problem. Get you my daughter. An insect stronger than the cricket has entered the cricket soul. I don't know why things happened the way they do. But I will advise you. Whatever news you hear today or tomorrow. Or in years to come, you should take them. Uncle, you speak in parables. Um, Uncle, stop beating about the bush. Nkechi, listen. They woke up for his dead. He died in a motor accident on his way to Abuja. That's why we're here. What? You know, and he's dead, he's dead. There's nothing we can do about it. The family will soon decide on the death of Eria. It's true. <laughs> so my brother is living, and they Abuja, they suffer. Oh my God! Why not come and help me? Hey! Too bad of you. See my brother's house. I dare Abuja they suffer. Sir. You greet me, good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon. Who you they look for? Don't you know me? Hey! Yes! Not you be General ba I mean President of Basanjo of Federal Republic of Nigeria. Not be you. I am Chukuma and I'm looking for Chinyere. You are Chukuma and you are looking for Chinyere? Yeah. For where? Yeah? Right. Eh, ah, okay, okay. You people say you don't get respect again for your eye. Eh? You don't get respect for your eye. These questions are getting too much. Just to stay chilling like Chukum is living with My friend, shut up! You don't get respect? You don't look me from head to toe. I feel like, say, I'll be a mate. Take the thing Chukum is looking for her. Look, make I just tell you. When your girl don't give me authority, make I not allow people like you to pass inside this place. Because as I old as I reach like this, I know what boy and the girl then they do. What then they do? You want to make her tell you? Yes. Like I said there now, if you give all this aunt waiting for this house, Belle, we will conquer them. You carry cap and wear for a bag. GK. Now who be that? GK. Now who be that? Chicken, what is happening here? And why in God's name are you shouting on my guest like that? This one, I guess? You said you're a friend now. And how does that affect you? Hey! Everybody don't tear you. Everybody with this small little ways. Now you look me finish and say, I'm not going to you. Chicken, when have you become my father to dictate the kind of friends I should have? My friend, this person not be your father. Now your uncle. See the only picking one, they say, I got born. Chicken, will you keep quiet? Everybody. Hey. Chicken. Yes. This should be the very last time you should ever try this rubbish with me again, okay? Now get out. Just leave here. <laughs> I go get out. Get out. I just need sympathize with you now. Hey, brother, you want to be? Hey, get up. You will not get the worst like this. You will not get worse. I'm going to see you guys.
Thank you, my daughter. So you are still crying? I have told you that no amount of tears can bring him back. Hmm? Death is a debt. Every man must pay it. It is inevitable. But Uncle, you all abandoned me for over two weeks now. Why? My daughter, that is not the issue for now. Um, I hope you have friends you can stay with. Why? <laughs> but I'm comfortable here. <laughs> See, there's no need beating about the bush, um, uh, Ikechi. The family have mandated us to come and repossess our brother's properties, especially this house today. For what reason? So then what happens to me? You have to go back to where you came from, you know? We don't know you. And I don't know you people either. Nobody, I repeat, nobody has the right to repossess my father's property but me. Okay, now, in that case, we have no other option than to throw you out. And I'm left with no other option than to throw the both of you out of my father's house. God, this is madness. Not less than three weeks my father died, and all you could do as families was to sit around the table and plan on how to repossess my father's property. <sighs> You're all liars. And I think it's high time I got a liar involved in this. Uh, Dede, it's high time we throw this guy out of this house. Now. Uncle Fanny, you cannot allow this to happen to you, would you? Uncle Chingo, we only carry in our family orders. Orders from the family? Yes. So what happens to me? Where do you want me to stay? To where you, they took you from, of course. You're not a blood. Hey, I wasn't talking to you. Yo, sorry, am I your... Uh, what am I doing? It's okay. How can you be this wicked and ungodly? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. You see, Emeka was right. Our brother, Okafor, never had a child. In fact, he was important. So, we don't know where he adopted you from. And the family cannot just fold our hands and watch an unknown man to come in tomorrow to inherit all his properties in the name of marriage. It's a lie. You are all liars. Even you, uncle. Even you. Why? Oh my God, this is not happening to me. <laughs> Why? Emeka. Come, come and show me your room so that you take your things. I'm not leaving this You're house. You're not leaving this house. Leaving You're not leaving this house. house. Okay, you are leaving this house. <laughs> You look every inch beautiful like the queen I married 15 years ago. Mm. Come on, let me help you. I know you're just flashing me. I know you. No, not at all. Come on. Come on. Ouch. <laughs> Your eyes are still charming. Thank you, darling. You still look beautiful. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. Come on, let me help you fix this. I wonder. I wonder if I'll be able to wait for three months that will be gone. I think I need to join the gym. Don't say that. Why? Come on, sweetie. You've got the company to take care of. You've got the children to keep you company. And you've got yourself to look after. But I still need my wife around. I know. I'll be back soon before you know it. <laughs>
<gasps> Dad, I need to go for my shopping. It's just three days to my birthday and ten days for my departure to school, you know. I know. I know very well. But please, when I come back on Monday, we'll talk about that. Right? Right. Hmm? Remember, you have to read your books. Invest is like a jungle. What you sow is what you reap. Do you want a carryover? Oh, no, Dad. God forbid. Hmm? And for your birthday, when I come back on Monday, since we're not going to market, what do you want me to buy for you? That special thing that you want from Dad. Anything from Dad is acceptable. Laptop. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, this place is so boring. I can't stay here alone. Okay, I'll, I'll be back on Monday. Like I said, it's just a few hours. I'll give that a hug. Give that a hug. Come on. Come on. Thank you. I will buy you some of these, okay? Mm -hmm. When I come back, you'll be very happy. Right? Cook some food and cake for daddy, okay? I will soon be here on Monday, okay? Please. Please, mommy, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mommy <laughs> loves daddy <laughs> so much. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's alright, it's alright, okay? Let's go. I'll go there and I'll make sure when I come back, you'll be happy, okay? Hmm? Let me see you walk to that door and wave bye bye to daddy. Let me see what to do and then wave bye bye to daddy, okay? Beautiful girl.
Listen, I want you girls to face your studies. The idea of running after men is something that should come later. Uncle, I want you to trust us. We don't have time for men. What about those boys that come here when I'm not around? Daddy, they are just our friends. Listen, whether they're your friends or not, I don't want any visitor when I'm not around. Is that clear? Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? I'm sorry, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. Is there any problem? No, no, no problem, sir. Sorry, sir. I disturbed the family meeting. No. I've been wanting to see. Hey, Chinyo. Now you want to see. Okay, no vessel. Now, Tony, hey, that's your boyfriend. Bring your gum now. She bring. Ah, wait, it's my confirm. I don't have fridge now. Chike, what is that? Okay. Now. They bring this in for afternoon, no? Say, make I give up. I don't know why I can't go bring him now. Now, that won't go where they drop chin in every time, every time. Now, him bring a come. He bring that mineral where they did for, where they did for a packet. He come buy chin chip. Then this one, that rice where they did for a packet. He did inside here. He say, make I give chin here. Who is bring. he? Chin, tell him now. Ha! You do me, you do me like this. As if now Mr. Bidi boy pass you. Now Tony, 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 no be the other boy. Now Tony, the other boy with the UP. Take that rubbish out of this place. Okay? This will not be rubbish, oh. Me that I went inside packet, he said rubbish. I said you should take that rubbish out of this place now. Okay, okay, make a kukuma one channel instead of you go lost like that, eh? Look at that. That is exactly what I've just finished talking about now. Listen, Jean. I have a daughter. She's too young to learn all this rubbish from you. Listen, if you don't take your time, I will send you back to the village. Uncle, please. I'm very sorry, Uncle. It will never repeat itself again. I promise you that. I'm very sorry.
About the project I told you about. Yes, yes, yes. I'm the bank manager has signed the check. Yeah. Uh, I think we need to clear those cars. Madam, how much my money? Now eighteen naira, madam. What are customers they wait now? Have you no one thing? Madam, my money. I can't find it. Okay. What do you concern me? You concern your money. I didn't say make you give me my money. Tell me say your money. Ha! See me see while out. Ah no, madam, I had money on me, but I can't find it. So now wait you want to try tell me now, tell you don't get money out. Ah no, I had money on me now. Eh, she just like ah, can't give me my money, I beg. <laughs> Give me my money, Hey, what's the problem? Oh, she give me my money. Leave her. Ah, I'm not gonna leave her till I see my money. Oh. How much is the money? Eighteen naira, Just eighteen naira. Yes. Leave her then. Ah, if I not get my money, I'm not gonna leave her. Take, leave her. My God, now you save you. Now go and do this other. It's not there. Eh? I'll for beauty blue black come off your head. Thank you very much. Sir. It's alright, no problem. It happens, it happens. Come on. Sorry, huh? So um what are we going to do about it now? I think I should be going here. Yeah. I'm Ketcho Kafo. I'm very grateful for everything. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. It's nothing. So, where are you going to so that I can give you a lift? No, I said, where are you going to so that I can give you a lift? The truth is, I don't have anywhere to go to. You don't have anywhere to go to? I don't have a home. So, you don't have any family? Relatives, friends, none at all. Well, I was thrown out of my parents' house, <laughs> claiming that I was an adopted child. As I'm talking to you now, I have no reason. I have no father, no mother, no brother, no sister. <laughs> I don't even know the orphanage I was adopted from. It's alright, it's alright. This is quite pathetic. It's okay. It's okay. But living in the street will be very dangerous for a young girl like you. What do I do? I don't have a choice. I have no one to turn to. I've accepted life by face. <laughs> okay. Let's get to my car. Come. Now who be that? broke down and um yes the mechanic will soon be here <laughs> take this money give to him yeah? all right sir listen don't allow anybody disturb me do you understand all right sir 
Nobody will do that. Yes, sir. Good. Thank you, sir. Let me take you to the Can't say make sure nobody will stop at the yard. Chike, come back here. Okay. Where are you taking her to? To my apartment. I I just want to take the new house girl. Keep her for you until we prepare the place where you go stay. I go even leave my bed. She go lie there. Shut up, my friend. Who told you she's a house girl? Come on, bring her back here. Come on, come on, come on. I just said a new person. Come on, leave her. Leave her. Now because you say nobody should disturb it, that's why I want to keep her again. Yeah. Welcome to my home. What a nice place you have here. Thank you very much. Um, you stay alone? Yes, I stay alone for now. Are you married? Yes, um, but um, divorced. Why? Um, personal reasons. That is, if you don't mind, please. I don't. Mm, you have children. Oh, yes. I have a beautiful daughter. Shall I call her my angel? So, where is she? Ah, uh, she's in school. Um, why not go in, take your bath, freshen up? We can talk about that later if you really want to know about it. Okay. Show me the way. And I know you're looking kind of right tonight. Damn, I hope a nigga hit tonight. Tell me how do you want it? How do you feel? If you do things right. I just want you to show me where I can get a better bread. Ah, ah. <laughs> if you won't get better bread, eh? Now for Yanakpaja. That place bread plenty there well well. Where is Yanakpaja? I hope it's not far from here. No, you're not too far. But uh, you go enter Moto three times before you get that place. No, no. You don't need such stress. I just want you to look around and get bread for me. That's all. You just want make I just look around. Buy you bread. Make me. I go buy you bread. Make it stay there. Hungry go just kill you. Uh -uh. You mean I can't send you to buy me something or what? So you don't get respect again for your eye. I mean, respect the enter train run. You look me finish your head. So we can go buy you bread. You the Chris? But is that why you are insulting me? Look, if you talk again, I go insult you. I go even beat you. Look at small writer like you. You look at chicken finish. So make a chicken go buy you bread. I go slap you. Kick you till you pile go fully your butters. Nonsense. I hope there is no problem. Okay, no problem. Now this uh, house gear you bring come here now. So make I go buy a bread. Keep quiet, my friend. Don't ever call her your house help. Okay, don't join her. In case you don't know, she is your madam. My ma... Okay. What of your... I mean my... Um, our... I mean... 
your wife. You are um my my wife. Yes, my wife. Idiot. Come on, collect the money and go and buy her the bread. Make her collect the money. Collect the money from her and go and buy her the bread. Pick it. Okay, don't throw the money. Pick okay. that money, my friend. Make her pick her. Pick it. Do you want to lose your job? Idiot. Okay, then now you're not going to go buy the bread. Go and buy this bread. Now you're going to enter. Eh? Come, come stay for the day. Honey, please, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm... Hey, buddy, make her ask you, eh? Now, which time will Madame go come back? Is that why you stopped us? Wait a minute. And when have you become so interested in my auntie's whereabouts? Eh? See, Chike, we are so tired. We are not in the mood for your mischievous jokes, okay? This will not be mischievous, oh. That is nobody call mischievous for this case. In a serious case. Because of me, Chike, when madame they leave this gate, they travel. He tell me, say, Chike, you should not allow any other woman to enter through this gate. But he says, oh God, they carry woman, they come inside this place. Why they tell you now, when madame go come now, trouble come boss. When I go say that Chike, now you open gate, make another woman come inside. I don't they take one. So how sure are you that it's a wife my father bought home? Make I tell you, chicken not be small picking. I don't see your papa several times. I don't even see them wear to them and they chop their mouth. I see your papa self where he carry the woman. He got that, got that, got that. You do why? For this and uh, what him be in them? A cushion. And now the woman can't turn. You can't carry your papa, keep on my wrist. You can't carry your papa. <laughs> they got the smile. <laughs> see, I don't even see her where then they do the thing. Do what? You want to know? Chike. Yes. When will you realize the fact that you're a man and not a woman? I hey, I'm the man. Or is it poverty that is turning your sense of reason into this? Yeah. Hey, baby. Some more rat like you look me finish. They tell me whether the poverty don't enter my head. Anyway, I'm not surprised. They not train you well. Do you know what you are? A big fool, a very big one, that's what you have. Me, a big fool. Big two and last card. Check, check, check. Hi, my angel. You're looking good. Thank you. Yeah, this is my daughter, my angel, the baby. Oh, uh, this is Chichi, the baby of my family. Um, she's your aunt, Nkechi. Hi, loves. My aunt, Nkechi. I don't know you. So, how are we related? Right. I would like you to know, if my mom gets to meet you here, you may not just be happy for the rest of your life, because she could be very dangerous if provoked. The choice is yours. I know you'll be worried. Um, actually, I told you that the mother and I are divorced. We didn't let her know because she's too young to know about it. Right?
I can see you're not doing anything. So pack these clothes and go wash them now. And of course, you know, I'll go and assess it after washing them. And if they are not clean enough, you will go back and wash it the second time. You girls are insane. You the set of useless rude girls. <sighs> Who is useless? You or I? You know I should be telling you that. So pack these clothes now and go wash them. I don't blame you fools. I don't blame you both. Sit down, down yet. Sit down yet. Pack this clothes. Watch them. Hey! Now what did they happen here? I just said they're they here. Pack them. Wash them. Pack them. Wash them. Now what did they happen? Hmm. And if you hear noise, who are you to ask me questions? Eh? Hey. Anyway, for your own business, make I just delete you. Come. Nkechi. Now what did happen? What did happen when I just hear this kind of noise? You know so you're important for this house, so. Is this your business? Huh? Look at my business, so. Look at see this one. See the chicken where they pursue, make a kite. And hawk, no come carry. Now they say what well, is my business. Make I just tell you. Before Oga come out for this house, he tell me, say, make I look after all of them the way they here. So as I day here now, Namibia be your husband. You, wait on like a pool. Namibia be your uncle. For you, Sumale, make it call me your daddy. Because Nami they in authority now. You didn't hear me? Just get, get out of this place. Get out! <laughs> make I get out. Get out! Wait, make I just tell you the truth. You don't get any business for this house. Oh. They don't put you for the wheel for this house. See where butterfly they dance. Ho, 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 ho. Not be bad. I go go. Nkechi, I would like to go and rest now. And if by the next 30 minutes you still haven't washed these clothes and wash them clean, I'll make sure I put the living daylight out of you. And you should also have this at the back of your mind that if by any means my uncle gets to hear about this, you know now, you know you don't have anything to do with us. You would leave this house. Hmm? You really want to drive, right? Get inside! You think I'm joking? You think I'm joking? Just come inside, okay? You want me to come and force you, right? Get inside. I'm not coming in. Get inside. Get inside the car. Hello. Hi, Auntie. Hi. I'm fine. You? <laughs> Auntie, we're missing you. When are you coming home? <laughs> yes, now. Nah, you trust me now. <laughs> okay. She's here. She's here. She's here. Okay. Hello. Hello, Mom. I'm fine. When are you coming back? Dad, he has gone out with his concubine. Dad now has one ugly looking girlfriend living in the house. I'm serious. Mom, you need to see her in your ninth girl on your matrimonial bed. I'm serious. <laughs> I promise. Okay. Bye, Mom. I love you too. Okay. What did you do that for? I don't know. I told you not to tell her anything. You're a big fool. Get out. I'm sorry. Are you not driving again? Oh, this, this, come and teach me now. I want to talk with you girls. We've been enemies since I came into this home. Please, I want to know what I've done wrong. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, she does. Why do we hate to 
so much. Mm. You want to know, right? You really want to know. We could be friends if only you do the domestic work in this house and stop being useless. Things like sweeping the house, washing the dishes, washing the plates and washing the clothes and everything. I mean, I shouldn't be doing that when you're around. And again, you must stop sneaking around town with my uncle. You're not even worth the trouble. Ah. The only reason I could accept you is just for you to stop flirting around town with my daddy and start acting like a maid in this house. It's very obvious I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. I love you, girl. I love you too, HK. But I'm scared I'm going to lose you. You know there are lots of pretty girls in America. Okay? Hey, there you go again. Why do you disregard yourself? Do you know how beautiful and intelligent you are? Oh, please. It's okay. <laughs> I'm flattered already, okay? I think I need to go now. She and my parents would have been at the ends of the world in panic if they had discovered that I'm not in the room at this ungodly hour of the day. I understand. I'll give you a call as soon as I get to the States. I miss you so much. miss you too. So, so much. Come here. I love you. When was the last time you saw your menstrual period? Two months ago. You were carrying a baby. I think we'll have to go and see the doctor. Come on. Come on. But not to worry. Not to worry, huh? Welcome, madam. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, madam. Who is in the house? Madam, I got done go work. Oh. 
but my bearing and the second madam be inside. Second madam? Yes, second madam. Everything's okay. 
It ends up in this array Are my problems here to stay? Was I born to suffer? What is the matter? That's the question she's asking Why all this happening? Why am I suffering? Just when it seems Everything's okay It ends up in disarray Are my problems here to stay? He lied to me You told me you were divorced <laughs> <laughs> anyway, your wife and kids, they, they beat me up and threw me out of the house. <laughs> and beside uh, mind builders school. <laughs> I don't have money to pay for this call I'm making now. <laughs> 25 minutes. <laughs> All right. Was I born to suffer? believe that stupid girl is pregnant for that. What? She's pregnant. Hey, baby. How did you know? We have heard them discussing it some days ago. We even saw her train up. Why did you tell me this when the girl was still around? It escaped my mind. I promise not to quarrel with Dad. It's okay. Um, you girls go inside, okay? Don't break your promise, okay? You guys look for something to eat, okay?
once, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Please. Please forgive me, please. I'm very sorry. Sorry, it's not happening again. Just to find out about this pregnancy, it will be too dangerous for you and the unborn child. I understand you, but the problem is I'm very skeptical about abortion. I know, I, I understand it, but listen, I'll take you to a professional.
So, this is where my husband has been hiding you, eh? You're pregnant, isn't it? Listen, you got forsaken homebreaker. You better get rid of that cockroach inside your womb. Or else, I will send you to your miserable early grave. Let me tell you something. It took me 14 years. I mean 14 years of sleeping on the streets and under bridges in this Lagos for me to get to where I am today. And if you think you're going to come and destroy everything and I'll stand by and watch, my dear, you are chasing shadows. Do you hear me? Please leave my house. Eh? You heard me. Get out of my house. Good doctor. Are you in any way related to the patient? No, she just a neighbor. Well, she will need a minor operation. Also, a 30,000 naira deposit has to be paid before treatment commences. 30,000? You also signed some undertaking. Must I sign? Yes. Ah. She's just a neighbor. I'm not related to her in any way. I have to go and call the uncle. I'll be back in a half time.
Chin, I can't let you go now. You're my baby. I feel you. Feel me now. Feel me. Ciao, mom. Baby, mom. Gala, no, you can come. Gago, do you know you can? Gala, no, you can come. Feel you. 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 Now, Chukuma, let me go now. Free me, please. Chiri, see, you know As long as you are concerned, I am ready to spend my last dime to make you feel happy. <laughs> what? I don't know, tell me. Okay. It's coming. Hello? We speaking? Uh, hey, agent, how are you? Okay, okay. What about those um, those um, containers? Have you cleared it? No, 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 no. Agent, don't tell me this nonsense. I don't like this thing. I told you, I want, I want this. Oh, good gracious me. What the hell is this? I want these goods to be cleared so that I can get back to Germany. Hey, let me, it's, look, look, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you something. If you are not ready to deliver the goods, let me hand it over to another agent that can do it properly. I don't like this. Get out, why are you telling me this kind of, this kind of nonsense? Psst. Chukuma, what's wrong? Um, Okay. I go now. I have the free. Gigi. Gigi. What? What is it? Chichi, I'm calling you. Have I not told you to stop disturbing me? Excuse me. Chichi, I'm calling you. Chichi. Chichi. Go check out. So it's because of that you boy. That this girl has been fucking off. Capo, me don't play you several times. Say so somebody they shower money for this chick. I make and they fuck her. Not in there. They film. Archive. Enter this car, let's leave here now before I commit murder. Come on, they see you. Just do that. Let's leave here.
bad is the condition? Well, it's really, really bad and if something is not done, she may lose her life. No mistake. I don't understand. I said her people abandon her here. Will you let her to die? Well, the truth is that we need someone to sign some documents before we can attend to her. If that's the problem, I will sign. Just treat her. <laughs> okay, let's take her. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, no way, no way, you can't. <laughs> Doctor, please don't keep me waiting. Tell me what is the result. The preliminary test shows that irregularity in your blood is cancerous. That's it, means you have leukemia. What? I'm sorry, Mrs. Hill. Oh, Mrs. we have to postpone this until we're ready to hear it. It's okay, just... Don't, don't, it's okay. I can take it. We all know that you have cancer. Please just tell me. How bad is it? Am I going to die? No, 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 it has not gone to die. This is all. All you need is a bone marrow transplant and chemotherapy as soon as possible. After that, just hope and pray. Hope and pray. My wound has not been affected. No, you're okay, you're fine. Tell me the truth. Are you sure my wound has not been affected? No, you are fine. Meanwhile, you're strong enough to be discharged. It's okay, you'll get better. I don't have a home. I don't have any family. I don't have anywhere to go to. It's okay. Stop crying. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Fine. Auntie, you don't look okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just I'm bored here. Bored? And where is um <coughs> He's left since morning. Morning? And where is um Where is she? He sent her on an errand. Since when? Since morning. Auntie, uh, hmm. well, me, I don't know, Cheryl, but personally, I feel there is more to this than meets the eyes, but it's you, Cheryl. I don't know how you want to run your family or anything, but if you ask me, I'm not comfortable with that girl in this house. You know, 
this girl in question is a full blown adult. And you know what girls could do? We're full of pranks. We young girls now. I don't know, Sha. I don't know. Uh, do you know it's possible that that girl might be having an affair with. Uh, I don't know, Sha. You're really beginning to make me see it from a different angle. Sorry for keeping you waiting, madam. No problem. It's all right. Thanks. Please, when did you say the baby was put up for adoption? Um, sometime around 1999. 1999? August. August, 1999. Um, okay, maybe you fill this form and I'll submit it to my boss, okay? Darling, you're looking so pale and emaciated. You're not your usual cheerful person. What is the problem? I'm okay, but I said okay. What do you mean you're okay? Have you taken a good look at yourself in the mirror lately? Only life is gradually fizzling out of you. You're telling me you're okay. I said I'm alright. What is all this pestering for? String. I'm sorry, Daniel. I didn't mean to say that, okay? I'm sorry. I think this is getting out of hand. Have you seen Dr. Kennedy? Dr. I don't think I need a doctor. I'm alright. has to do with a patient confidentiality which I have anything to keep even if she's your wife. Okay. Don't talk to me as my family doctor. Okay then? Talk to me as a family friend. What is wrong with my wife? Your wife is Very sick. What is wrong with her? So, that is what you have to find out yourself. understand your your being professional about it. There is no problem. I will be on my way.
You almost scared me with that look. When were you going to tell me? Tell you what? for better forms in sickness and in health on a wedding day. Today I look back and wonder if you understand the significance of that. <laughs> Listen darling, you know, My it... name. Every day I watch my once loving, energetic wife in my shirt. That cheerful part of you has turned into sorrow. Ego, there are different kinds of sorrow. The bitterness of death, the torture of jealousy, but nothing breaks the heart and destroys life faster like being betrayed by someone you love. Tell me, how bad is it? I've been diagnosed. Look at me. Cancer of the blood. And I have just... He wants to leave. I didn't want to cause you and the children any pain. I've told you. Besides, I just felt telling you disrupt my. I have desire. Tell me, what is it? <laughs> Tell me what it is, honey. Come on, come on. My daughter. Hey, Barry. My life was a bunch of sorrow. <laughs> Until Till you and a baby came along. Tell me what is it? When I told you my life story, <laughs> I was afraid of telling you everything because I was so scared of losing you. My love. Find it in your heart <laughs> to forgive me. You know, as an orphan, I was thrown out on the streets when my foster parents died. <laughs> I suffered. <laughs> I could barely eat. I was begging just to be able to feed. I stepped on the streets and under bridges. That life on the street gave me a daughter. I had my daughter after all attempts to abort it proved abortive. <laughs> I 
managed to feed her <laughs> and give her shelter, of course, under the same bridge. <laughs> One day, when she was eight months old, <laughs> she was so ill. <laughs> I took her to the hospital. <laughs> the bills became so high, <laughs> but I couldn't pay. <laughs> I left my sick daughter in the hospital. <laughs> I ran away. I ran away. It's alright, it's alright. And now, <laughs> now I just want to see my daughter. Please, <laughs> now that I am dying, <laughs> I just need to see. <coughs> Come on, Mary, I need to see my daughter. I just need to see my daughter before no, I die. No worries. <laughs> What is the situation? What did you say the baby's name was? Jumoke Ade Adiola. Okay, just give me a moment. Jumoke Ade Adeola, female, was adopted by a couple named Mr. and Mrs. Okafu. And here is their address. Here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much. What's up with you, man? Yeah, you're looking good. Look at you. What's up with you? <laughs> Baby girl, look, look at you. you. When did you come into Nigeria? Man, I came in yesterday. No, I didn't even bother to come. Man, call, man. man, it was stressful. Though I was actually coming down to your house to pick you up, Who man. Who's this? Man, meet my friend, Z. Oh, baby girl, this is my Whoa, cousin Chima. This is his wife yeah, and my pretty yeah. little stubborn cousin. Oh, <laughs> He's one family. Yeah, 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 it's my pleasure. Man, here, you. Chima, there's a lot to talk about. Are you sure? Actually, I'm in the country because I want to get married. Wow. <laughs> She's the lucky girl. Thank you. 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 Come on, man, get into the car. Wow. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, please, we are looking for Mr. Okafo. 
Mr. Kafa is dead, yes? We understand he has a daughter. Okay. My brother had no child of his own. You know, okay. She was adopted at a very early age. And after my brother's death, the family sent her away. Please, do you know where we can find her? No, I've not set my eyes on her ever since she left. But why are these questions now? Is there any problem? Hey, God. She's my daughter. I need to find her, please, if there's any way you can help. Well, the most I can do is to get you her pictures. Maybe you can take them to TV station or newspaper houses or whatever. Perfect. I, I think that would be most appreciated. This is the girl? Yes. Oh my god. Uh, is there any problem? Let me have a look. What's your relationship with my sister's husband? She said, for you, help me. What is your relationship with my sister's husband? You think we don't know that you've been sneaking about town with my sister's husband? I know girls your type, you know, homebreakers. How they go about destroying people's marriages. But the truth is, you are in the wrongest of all places. And you know what? I have this very little advice for you. You know what that is? You just go in there, pack your things and leave. Maybe you think I'm joking, right? I say go in there, pack your things now and leave. I'm talking to you, go in there, pack your things, things and leave. Oh, please. And where do you think you're going to? You heard her. Go in there, pack your things and leave. Madam, I will leave. But I'll have to wait till your husband comes. I said go and pack your things and leave. I won't. Say talk to you. Madam, if you dare say a word, I'll slap you again. But what did I do wrong? Madam, if you slap me again, I'll slap your sister. Huh? What did I just hear you say? Oh, 
from here Harder words aren't so loud Cause anywhere I go Anywhere I go Lord, I've been rejected Anywhere I go I've been rejected Anywhere I go I've been rejected Come to my rescue, oh Lord And come and show me the way Cause anywhere I go
Doctor, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, please. Doctor, can't you try? Doctor, can't you try and make her live a while longer? Sir, can I imagine the kind of excruciating pains she's passing through due to her refusal to go wider on chemotherapy? It's like a... Uh... Hey, doctor. You cannot deny a dying woman's wish. Can you? Can you? Searching everywhere For that special something Say just searching up and down Searching everywhere for that special someone, oh, you don't know what you have until you lose it. Oh no, you don't know what you have until you misuse it. Educate. 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 Sorry, girl. I was lost. Honey, are you, are you okay? What are you thinking? Since I came in here, you've been cold and moody. I'm your angel. Your love. Honey, your, your troubles are mine, you know. Girl, there's nothing to worry about, okay? I'll be fine. Trouble in your mood, AJ. I know you, AJ. I know the young man I've lived with for two years now. Listen, girl, I just need to be alone, okay? I, I want to take some decision, that's it. AJ, talk to me now that I can take it. It's nothing, girl. It's just that I've run into an old lover, that's it. I'll be fine. You ran into an old lover and or all you're thinking right now is renewing your relationship with her, right? what you think, girl. Come on. It's just that I met her in a terrible condition. That's it. Hmm. Well, Mr. Sympathizer, I rest my case.
What? Maybe I can explain. Explain what? See, it's not exactly what to think, okay? That you, that, that you brought in a cheap prostitute into our home? She is not a prostitute, okay? She's a catchy the girl at home. Hey! Spare me that bullshit. Hey, JK. I don't want to go to jail. Because as I'm talking to you right now, I'm in the mood to pull a trigger. Hey, 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 no, baby, come on, come on. You, you don't have to do that, okay? Listen, we can talk this Hey, off, okay? hey! Fix your fucking ass there. Don't even come close to me. Else, you go down six feet. And as for you, no good champion, get out. No? She's going nowhere. Baby, you have the right to remain in here. This is your home. No, AJK. I need to go. I don't want to be an intruder anymore. Please. please. I said you're going nowhere. This is your home. We're together now. You and me and then you. Right? Two together. Never to part again. Then, who parts? Me or she? Because if she's going to stay, I will leave. Ungrateful bastard. After after all I've done for you? Jeez. And as for you. Hey, 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 hey. Get your hands off her. What's your problem, girl? Hey, don't huh? come close to me. What's your problem, girl? Don't come close to me. You fix your fucking ass down. Else, I'll pull your fucking ass down. Now you know what? I just don't want to see you around this place again. I want you out of this house now. I will leave. But remember. The choice that men choose enslaved their life. Oh, get out! I've had enough of you. Did you get out of here, girl? Get out! I, knew you were I said, get out! You're the last person I expect to see in my house. This is madness. Do you think I deserve this pains and treatment you're giving to your sister? You're making me feel like a king. That's what you were to me. You were the king my life, the light of my love. So what else do you want from me? I came because I want us to talk this over. I owe you a great deal of respect. But I want you to understand that my love for you was as a result of the fact that I lost contact with Nkechi. I love her so much. You don't love her. All you have for her is pity. A true love, they say, is like a durable burning fire. And it is forever burning. You lie. That girl is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. I love her so much. And if you truly love me like you claim, then you've got to understand with me. I cannot treat that girl for anything in the world. I came because I know how terrible or wicked you could be when provoked. 
I want you to spare the life of that girl. Please don't hurt her. I'm begging you. Show me. Get out of my house. Hey, get out right now. I'll get out. But please, do that in a flash. Now you know the reason why I'm leaving you. Get out! Out of my house! Bastard! You got attitude, bro. Right? Whatever. Anyway, tell me, what on earth will it cost me for you to part ways with my fiance? I'm talking to you. Just, just name it. How much? You really want to hear me talk? Yes, just name your price. Your life. My life? Yes, your life. And what are you feeling like? An angel? Jeez. <laughs> so you even have the animal impetus to talk back at me? Have you ever visited a mental hospital? You, you, you semi anthropos bitch? Just like you'll be visiting one after this emotional heartbreak of yours. Idiot! How dare you touch my wound? You, you, you just thinking, idiot! <laughs> now, Madam America, or whatever you call yourself, bond yourself out of my house. If not, you'll be digging your own grave with your own hand. Now get out! You hit back at me, and I will do it over and over again. Get out! You will wait for your so-called educate in hell. That I can
Hello, hello, hello. Madam, this is Capon. The deal is done. Good. Okay. All right. Miserable condition, I tell you. Yeah, well, if you care, <laughs> you get to meet me in the United States. Good day. This means that I'm not going to work again. You will work again, okay? The doctors has assured us of good health. Alright? I'm going to work again. Okay? You are a man. Try and put your wife behind you. You can't imagine the kind of excruciating pains she's passing through. Doctor, I am dying in my heart. I'm tired of seeing my wife in such a hopeless condition. But she has a wish. She has a wish that must be completed before that machine is pulled of her body. Can I be let into that? Yes, I will tell you. And my wife had a child. A girl. Many years before we met. 
and that child is missing. She wants to see this child before her death. So, how is the procedure? Listen, I've been to TV stations, newspaper houses, radio stations. But, I'm afraid I'm not making any progress. There has been no response yet. Yes, this is... Yes. You have seen this face before. What? Yes. She looks like one of my patients. One of your patients? Yes. And what is her name? Nkechi. 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 Yes. You mean she's the one? Yes. You mean she's in this hospital? She is in this hospital. No, no. Please, please. Come and show me. Come and show me where she is. Come, 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 please. So sickly. When you became too sick, and I couldn't pay your hospital bill, I abandoned you with a doctor. Oh, my daughter. When I came back looking for you, I couldn't find you. And the doctor was dead. I looked for you everywhere. I looked for you. I looked for you for 18 years. I never stopped looking for you. And now that I found you, Stop crying. 
Your tears make it so difficult for me. But this is a journey I must make. I want you to remember. Mommy will always be with you, okay? any longer. Doctor, you have to take me off the machine, doctor. Oh, 
Yeah. 